This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this retro audio visualizer. So, stay tuned. We are dropping in after this intro. Before getting start, let's take a look at the setup of my After Effects. The placement of these panels, can be different for your After Effects version. This is my effect controls tab, and this is effects and the presets. Here we have the text, as well as the align panel. In this corner, this is the project window. And right here, we have the timeline. This is the composition window, which will help us to see the output we are creating. So, let's create a new composition. I am calling it, Retro Audio Visualizer. And using a full HD, at 24 frames per second composition. And my duration is 1 minute. You should use the duration according to your music file. Now the first step is to create a new solid. I am calling it the background. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. I am going to change the end color as well as the start color of it. You are free to choose any color you want. Because we are working on gradients, so we need to change the bit depth of our project. Go to the project window, and click on this 8 BPC. Now, a new window will appear. Here change the depth value to 16 bits per channel, and then hit OK. It will make the gradient smoother, and minimize the bending. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. We will be using the fill only. But instead of using the solid, click on the linear gradient. And then hit OK. Make sure your stroke is set to none. Now, for changing the color of the fill, click on this color box. Here we have these two color stops. Each color stop contains the color of gradient. So click on first color stop, and change the color of it. You must use two colors in this gradient. I am using this orange and pink color. Now hold shift, and create a circle on it. The shift key, will help us in creating a perfectly round circle. And then align your circle into the center. Now select the move tool, so that we can change the direction of the gradient. Grab this line, and place it onto the bottom. Then grab it from the center, and place it on top. This is how the gradient will look now. Let's rename this layer as the circle, and then minimize it. Again, create a new solid layer. I am calling it wave and then hit OK. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the radio waves. Apply it onto the layer. There is a problem with this wave, it is not starting from the beginning. The few frames in opening, are empty. So grab this wave layer, and drag it towards the beginning. Also, stretch this layer to the end so that it will end with the composition. Now go to the effect controls tab, and open polygon. Change the sides to 4, and it will create this square type of waves. Cool. Scroll down to the bottom, and change the start width to 40. Also, change the end width value to 1. Now change the expansion value to 3, as well as, change the frequency value to 2. I am keeping the lifespan value of 6 seconds, so that it will disappear after 6 seconds. 
Let's change the expansion value to 2. Now open rotation of the wave layer. And change the rotation value to 45 degrees. It will make the waves straight. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it wave comp. Click on move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now again, open scale, click on this link icon, so that we can change the height and width individually. And then change the first scale value to a higher number. I am choosing a value of 5000%. Now, we are going to remove these waves from the circle. For that, we are going to use the track mat option. Select your circle. If your track mat tab is not available here, then right click on it, go to the columns, and choose modes. As well as switches, because we are going to need them. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat. And this is how it will look now. Cool. We are almost there. Select the wave layer, and use the shift plus up arrow key, to place the wave right here. This looks good to me. In case you want a different look, you can always play with the radio wave setting. Simply open the wave comp, and do the changes you need. As you can see, some of the waves are also appearing on top. So let's fix it. Select the circle layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it circle top. And then pre-compose it. Let's rename it as the circle top comp, and click on move all attributes into the new composition. Now go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Create a rectangle on this area, so that the top waves should not visible anymore. Cool. This is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's move to the next step. Minimize all layers, to get some room. And then create a new solid. I am calling it grid, and then hit OK. Make sure to place it right above the background. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the grid. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the size form to width and height slider. And then change the border value to 1. This is how it will look. Now we need to rotate this layer, in a 3D space. Simply, make it 3D, by clicking on this cube icon. Then open rotation, and change the X rotation value to negative 89 degrees. Now open position, and change the Y position value to around 730 pixels. Now open scale, and change the scale value to a higher number. So that it will cover the entire frame. I am using a scale value of 1000%. In case you want, you can use the shift plus right arrow key, to change the position of the track. Now this is not appearing from the middle. Cool. It's time to add animation on it. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then select the grid layer. Go to the effect controls tab. Here add a keyframe on the anchor. Now change the last anchor value to zero. Then go to the end keyframe position, and change the value to a higher number. This value depends on how fast moment you want for this grid, as well as the duration of your composition. For this tutorial, I am using a value of 400. Let's move to the next step. Create a new solid layer, and call it stars. You can use any color you want, but I am going to use this orange color, to match up with our scene. Place it right above the grid layer. Now go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC star burst. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the scatter value to 300. And then change the grid spacing value to 3. Also, change the size value to 70. 
check the animation, and see if you like it. I think the speed looks too fast. So I am going to change the speed value to 0.5. Cool. We don't need to show the stars in the bottom area. We just need to keep it on top. So let's fix it. We need to pre-compose the star layer. I am calling it star comp. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Now go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Create a rectangular mask, at this position. But the stars are showing between this mask. All we need to do is reverse this mask. So change the mask to subtract. And now, it will be visible in the top area only. Let's select the star comp once again, and open feather. Change the feather value to 50. And it will make the edges of the mask softer. Cool. It's time to create the spectrum. Import your audio file into the project, and then place it onto the timeline. Now create a new solid layer, I am calling it Audio Visualizer. Place it on top of all layers, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the audio spectrum. Apply it on the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, I am going to change the starting position to zero, so that it will fix, with the edge of the composition. Now the end point should be in the center. So I am going to change the end point value to 960 pixels. It will be in the center perfectly. Now change the audio layer to your music file. And it will start reacting with the audio right away. Cool. Let's do some more changes. Change the side option to side A. And then change the frequency band value to 500. As you can see, this is not looking really sharp. So let's change the softness value to 0. Also, I am keeping the thickness value to 3. Now change the maximum height value to 1200. As well as, change the end frequency value to 200. And this is how it will look now. Cool. One thing you may notice, the spectrum is not moving smoothly. So let's change the audio duration to 250. And then change the audio offset value to negative 160. It will react on the beat, but the moment will be smoother. Check the animation and see if you like it. Cool. This looks good to me. Now change the spectrum color, to the same as the circle. You are free to use any color you want. Let's minimize it, and then again go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the mirror effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Grab this anchor point, and drop it right here. So that it will reflect the spectrum from the center. The exact value will be 960. And it will mirror the spectrum on the layer. Let's place this spectrum right here and then make another duplicate of it. We will make it slightly different from the previous spectrum. In this audio spectrum, change the maximum height value to around 2000. Place it right below the first audio spectrum. Also, change the end frequency value to 150, to get some random moments. Let's change the color to darker, as compared to the first spectrum. Let's change the frequency band value to 700. Cool. I am changing the opacity of the star comp, as it is looking too bright. Let's keep it on 50%. Play it once again, and see if you like it. Not bad. 
Now we are going to do some color adjustments. Create a new adjustment layer, and place it on top of all layers. Let's call it glow. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. Change the glow threshold value to 40%. And then change the glow radius value to 120. Cool. Let's change the color of the grid. Select the grid layer, and change the color to the same as the circle. Again, select the glow layer, go to the effect controls tab, select the glow effect, and then make a duplicate of it. I am going to change the glow radius value to 300. And the glow threshold value to 75%. Let's keep the glow intensity value to 0.5. And this is how it going to look now. Let's quickly adjust the color of the background, so that it will match up with the scene. And then do some color adjustments. You should take your time, but for this tutorial, I am speeding up this process. You can add radial blur on the star layer, to achieve the same look as you have seen in the intro. But it will increase the render time, so I am skipping that step. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, good luck. And sayonara. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download beautiful After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.